Hi, it's Angie. I'm coming on today um, with a collective haul that I've bought probably since maybe September time. Um, I wasn't going to sort of bother filming it all because it was just lots of odd bits and pieces. Um, but we actually, I actually went to a shop <laughs> over the weekend. It was like, whoa. Um, I actually went into Wilkinson's and there was something in there that I got and I thought, oh, some people might be interested in that. So I decided that I'd make a video and then I thought, well, I might as well show a few few of the bits that I've bought. Um, so I've had to pull it all out again. So what I want to say is I'm actually in our spare bedroom, which is where we keep, like, because we go to Costco, we buy, like, toilet rolls and everything in bulk and this is where we kind of store it all so if you're wondering what's around me that's what it is um the other thing is i also keep as you can see my bird food in here i've got bird food um all there there and under the bed is literally where i keep all the bird food um i've got a few bits and pieces like the sugar and everything so if you're wondering why there's boxes of food everywhere that's why i'm in my spare bedroom so i'm just going to get on with the haul um it's not everything that i've bought but it's just sort of bits i can find so i've pulled this whole drawer out of that unit there um and this is my resin stuff now i'm not really into doing lots of resin because it kind of gives me the creeps um you know like the, the totally clear resin um but i do like doing the feathers and the pens so um and the bookmarks so <clears throat> this is my drawer that i keep the resin in so obviously i've got the light i already had the mat that's not new um that's the feather bookmark that i like I hope you can't hear my stomach rumbling i don't know why it's just suddenly started rumbling so i've got lots of tools and stuff like this so all the tools and the resiny bits they're all new along with like these things that in fact they came in a kit with the bookmarks i did buy those all of this has been bought on amazon i did buy these tassels um 120 tassels i did buy those um and there are some coaster molds down there I bought the starter kit with the light and I think it came with 10 little bottles like that. And then I have bought, there's a bigger bottle down there and I have bought various packs of like dried flowers and stuff. I don't know whether I'm going to use those or not. I, I do like some of the dried flowers, but I don't like loads of them. Um, I do like these little ones. I've ordered some more of those. I think they, these look lovely in the pens. So that's basically my resin drawer just going to try and put that out of the way all right so that's that um the other thing i can show you and then move out of the way this isn't quite all of it because i've still got a bit to sort but i bought a kilo of fabric scraps now i find if you buy like oddments you get like great big pieces of fabric and that isn't what i wanted I wanted small pieces like like this oops um you know and and bits that i can use for tags and and really little bits now i do sell scrap fabric i do sell a lot of it um but slightly bigger pieces so bits like this that are bigger i sell those but all the little pieces you know the little tiny tiny little pieces um I use for myself you know like all of this sort of thing and you know this sort of size I keep that all for myself so I've been sorting it out just taking out any odd bits cutting off the the edges the salvage um, and so it's all usable all what's in here now is usable and I can just pull it out so I'm gonna move that out of the way um, is it couple of weekends ago we had the the rspb um bird count and they gave a really good discount if you did the um bird count you could shop in their shop and i don't normally shop with them because they I, I have actually bought a couple of their bird feeders but obviously i can't show you those because they're in use and they do there's a particular 
bird feeder type that I like and there's a brilliant so I did buy two of those but because I did the bird count I got I was like 25 30 percent off so I got these two mixes the bird the um ground mixes and another ground feeder because they've started to squabble over the little one so I've put a second one in and I got it for I think it was like under six pounds for both of those foods and the um feeder so that was really good so I've just put those away oh gosh I really don't know where to start <laughs> um I'll start at the front I think I'm just going to pull these down I've got some other things from tonic but I'm just going to have to do those when I come to it so I had a couple of bundles I think it was not last weekend but the weekend before so they these two bundles were actually on the same you know the weekend bundles they were on the same they were the same weekend and they are the the um mica mists never used these before I mean I've used sprays but I've never really bought that many sprays, but these were so inexpensive. I think they were like eight pound or something for all of them. And there's what is there? One, two, three, four. The six. So we got pecan mist, crimson velvet, oriental fuchsia. That's gorgeous colour. That. These two are my favourites. Pampas grass, wild olive, that's gorgeous. And then this one, this will sort of go on anything really. Aspen gold, that's just going to give a really lovely gold. Now the lids come off that. They're, the lids are really funny on these, they keep falling off. So that's those. Then the same weekend, I also had, now what they're called, shimmer powders. And these are, I love the shape of these. There's five in the set, I think, three. Oh, no, there's six. Um, and there's, they're like the, um, what do you call them? Those powders that you sprinkle on, add water, and they sort of like spread out, and there's all different colours. can't think what you call them. Uh, well, they're like them. So where's the colours on these? Oh, yeah. So there's Blue Blitz, Golden Sparkler, Falling Leaves, Violet Brocade, Atlantis Burst, a Meteorite Shower. That's going to be interesting because that's a black. But I'm wondering if when you, when it spreads out with the with the water, I wonder if there'll be colours in that or whether it'll just be black. Part of me wants it to be just black and part of me wants it to be like the colours in the black. So it'd be interesting to see. Then these are... So I've got some dyes. Now these are all from China apart from one. This one here... Try not to get the glare. It's one of the new Tim Holt sets. Um... There you go, it's glaring. And it's very, very much like Mary Poppins. And I love anything Mary Poppins. It's like Mary Poppins and the chimney sweep. So this was, um, I think it was £11. But, no, well, yeah, it was ten ninety nine. But I had um, a voucher on eBay. They just It just came up when I logged in one morning. Spend over um, £10 and get £6 off. So... I'd been looking at this, but I wasn't going to buy it full price. So when I got the £6 off, I bought it. So, so that's that. Then I've had various sets and dyes from China. This is... Um, oh, these were bought so long ago. These were bought probably September, October time. Um, there's some... I love autumn crafting last year. I was so into my autumn crafting. Um, so I got these. Obviously not for last year because I knew they wouldn't come in time. But there's there's all sort of mushrooms and acorns and stuff. And they've got the stamps to go with them. Then 
there's this autumn um stamp uh, stamp die and it says gosh what does it say autumn oh, oh hello autumn i'm going to say i can normally read this fine um and it's like a wreath as you can see like a wreath with the leaves and that that you can layer up thought that was nice then there's this one which is like a like a, a bear tree you've got pumpkins pine cones fox acorns leaves clouds another pumpkin i thought that was a nice one love that tree um seeing if that's all oh then there's I think this is the last autumn one an absolutely beautiful squirrel i've only got a little squirrel but this is gorgeous a big squirrel and you can layer up the acorns properly on that one um yeah i think that's all the all the sort of autumn ones then this one is a spring one it says it's spring it says hello dragonfly there's lots of little birds birdhouse sort of plants wheelbarrow oops more plants another little bird there then also at the bottom of that was this but i've i've used this one and it's like a row of flowers and that's a really pretty dye that is so that's that that literally goes on the bottom of that dye there in fact is it better if i show them on the floor i don't know then there's this one it's a little alpaca how cute is that little alpaca it's like the little um saddle and the decoration that goes over the no sorry that's the saddle there that goes over a head i think like a hat it it's um i've got a picture of how it's supposed to look and all the little bits to make up the alpaca that is so sweet when it's layered up then i've got oh there's the lid for my spray look just noticed it <laughs> then i've got a little um girl gnome never liked the gnomes but i really got into the gnomes last year and i do like these that's that one and then i've got more like a sort of man gnome he's basically a hat eyes and a big beard <laughs> a little pair of boots sort of sticking out of his beard he looks really cute as well love his hat that's that one and then lastly for the dyes from china is um a mermaid that's actually the it looks weird but that's actually the head and the hair there and there's hair there and then there's basically the tail and then that's the body and the arms it, i say it looks like it looks a bit weird but actually when you see it laid up it looks fine so that's that and then this wasn't from china i bought this um i've got quite a lot of like cancellation frank well not a lot i've got a couple of like cancellation franks but I wanted it for the play stamp here, but mainly the postcard. So I wanted to make my own like little postcard embellishments. So and that was only like a couple of pound posted. So that's that. Um, I'll start with this. Um, I was making some. So I'm just gonna have a sip of my coffee. Hmm. Thirsty. Sorry. I've been making some. Um, shakers with tool um and i was i've only got a very small bit of white so i was going to order some more white and then i saw this um with red and green and i love like red and green for christmas and also red for valentine's day and green for saint patrick's and i that's what i'm doing at the minute i'm working on valentine's and saint patrick's so i thought blow it i'm just gonna get um instead of getting like one great big white i mean that's more than enough for what i need i thought i'll get the pack of three you can see there um now i already had i've just sort of put these in a box together i already had these these are just um these aren't new these are just um oh, what do you call them not stencil type things to make bows i haven't really used them that much i have used them a little bit so i hadn't got any really nice fabric so that's just the pen that i use for marking out my bows it's one of those that disappears whatever you call it you know after a while 
I haven't got any nice fabric so I did order this from and it's from um, Amazon and it is just a pack of really lovely fabric um, for bows and it does come with two different size clips as well so I've just kept those like all together in there so oops so that's those I'll just move those out of the way I've got a big pile behind me now um and the rest is just sort of bits really but these are just crepe paper rolls in red and green. They're the colours that I probably use the most. Um, I've got, I had a, a set of little ones, but I've used all the red and the green. And I've actually used the white as well. I, I did wonder whether I should get a, a white. But I use these for Valentine's Day and St. Patrick's Day and also for Christmas in that colour. So that's why I've got more. So coming up here... I got this sticker book but um i'm not gonna sort of go all the way through that because i did a separate video on this um a few videos back so that was that then here these are what's the name is it dina wakeley these are words um oh I'm trying to open it 100 hold on Oh, sorry, I'm going to put the phone down a minute. These are words, that's better, printed on really, really thin tissue paper for like um, mixed media and stuff. So they're printed on tissue paper and they, they came on little tiny sheets, loads and loads of words. And I knew that if, they, if, if when I come to want to use one, if I had to stop and cut cut something out of the middle of a page, I wouldn't want to use it. So what I've done is I've cut them all out ready and just put them in this little tub. So then when I do want a word when I'm doing my mixed media, I can just literally pull, the, pull go to that straight away and I don't have to stop. So again from Tonic, I absolutely love their papers and cards. I've, I've got, in fact, I probably bought a few others as well. Um, but this is the heart one and it's it's raised. It's paper. But it's um, trying to find oh cotton paper. That's it. That's what I was trying to think of the name of. They're the cotton papers, and they feel well. They've just got a feel of like cotton to them. They're not like paper. Um, and as you can see, the hearts are just raised on them, and the texture's gorgeous. Um, I even like the back. I think that that that's just as nice as well. So that was those. Now I did buy another. Oh, hang on, there's two things here. I did buy another bundle. You know, the £25 bundles from Tonic on, like, Wednesday deals. Um, and I was sort of slightly disappointed at first until I really looked into what I got. And then I'm, I'm really happy with what I've got. The smallest die I got is this one. But I'm going to be um, not keeping this one because... I already have it it's in the old packaging but it's the same die and it is a really pretty die so i won't be keeping that one then i had two of the like frames and i say i was disappointed when i first saw these because i look i just looked at it and i thought that's just horrible but then actually when you look at the them individually i really like them i love the sort of scrawly one there and so you've got the you've got the um trying not to get the glare a solid bit there and all these corners i've not got anything like corners and they would just look really nice on a project just using a couple of corners so when you actually break down what you've got i was actually really pleased with it and kind of the same with this i just think when you see that on the front it just looks a mess um and i, I can't visualize it until i see them like broken down what they're actually going to look like and i just think they're lovely and I mean, I use like little little frames and stuff for embellishments, but I don't really have any any of the bigger ones at all. So it is nice to have some bigger bigger frames. Again, this one, I looked at that and I thought, ugh, I'm never going to make that like pull out thing. You know, that's not something that I would do. And then 
it's called that look who it is three tier pull up cord sorry card die set and then i notice it says it requires little miss three tiered pull up card die set and i thought oh it doesn't even make that not that i'd want to but again then i looked at what's actually included on the back in the back and first of all to put it down a minute there's a set of numbers now i don't have any number dies you know like if i'm doing a card and i want to put an age on it i don't have any so i was really pleased to have those plus they've got the like and rid th st so that i was really pleased about and then again looking at all the bits that you get the work the the phrases and the frames i would totally use those but just when I saw it put together like that, I just thought, oh, no, I wouldn't. But I really would use those. So, again, I was pleased with that. And then this one I was really pleased with. I don't have any any of any dies that make, make any of the, I don't know, boxes, would you say? Any of the little, like, containers that I know that they do a lot of at Tonic. So, this is this one. And you can put it together in certain ways. It says incense gift box die set. And then this is what... I've taken this out to look at it. And this is what it is. And one thing I do like is the main part. It's all in one piece. It's all it's already, already joined together. So same with that bit there. So I don't actually need to um, like cut two of them and glue them together. Because oh, I hate doing stuff like that. So I'm really looking forward to having a go with that. And it's even got the, the the flower, so you can do a rolled flower. So that's that. So I was really pleased. Then the other thing I got was the free gift from Hunky Dory. Yeah, Hunky Dory. And it's a very male-inspired um, card, card toppers, which I really like. Um, I love these colours. They're very much the jewel, jewel, jewel colours, which are my colours like your peacock greens your blues so i did buy that but I, I i never like to get it on its own i always sort of only get it if there's something else i want um and i did buy the cardstock to go with it because i think it's absolutely gorgeous i think beautiful colours so i did and i do like their cardstock so i did buy that to go with it so that was that um, I'm just going to have another quick slug of my coffee. So, um, I did go to Aldi as well. Um, as I say, I went to, I'm not really going, apart from Costco and the local shop, I'm not really going in shops at the minute. Um, but I did go, to, I have been to, to Aldi a couple of times and I did pick up some of their Easter chocolate. So I got, what did I get? Two of the little um, chicks and bunnies. Two of the um, eggs. Then I picked up one of these, these are the 199 ones with the little bunnies. Because I want some of those for Mother's Day. And then I picked up two of the Easter lollies. Now, I don't know how much chocolate I want this year because, obviously, I'm not making for work. But I've got the two little boys next door that I do something for and um, some friends' little boys. So, um, I might not need it all, but I thought I'd rather get more than have to sort of go back. Um, I'm, I've ooh, recently found... Um, I mean, I've heard of Fabulosa, obviously, and I had a disinfectant... Um, little bottle um when it first came out and i thought compared to um oh what's it called the usual disinfectant that everybody used to have which you can still get i can't remember the name of i didn't like it as much um but i did find these sprays um i had the poppy one and i also had it in this fragrance the sugared almonds and that is gorgeous i've actually got that on the go at the minute and i absolutely love it i think that's probably like a wintry christmasy special one maybe but um i always have to sniff them before i buy them but i got i found this in the lemon mint which is really nice and also 
a big size and this is a nice one as well pixie dust i wouldn't really like to say what it smells like it's very much like is it pansies one of the flower one of the summer flowers it smells like but it's 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 a really really nice smell very very fresh and i just love you know for 1.99 massive bottle they're from wilkinson uh, not wilkinson's um aldi and as you can see i've also got the sugar dolman bathroom spray and i got another one in uh winter garden i've not tried that scent yet and they are um 99 pence also in um aldi i just picked up one of these frosted berries and winter spice it's a male well quite a male scent and i absolutely love those sort of male scents so i picked up one of those um and i picked up i picked up a couple of the love heart items which i'll show you in a minute um that i'm going to do for swaps and for mother's day and then i wished i'd got some more of the love heart um the hand gel so i actually saw it in well it's candy hearts it's obviously not the the, say, the actual love heart brand but i thought that would they would still be quite nice for little swaps so i did pick up two of those the swaps um and then lastly i think it's just wilkinson's um i did pick up some just some more containers just for putting leftovers and stuff in the fridge mine all seem to be too small or too big so i've got a couple of slightly bigger but not too big ones so i've got a square and a round and then i've got a slightly smaller square a uh, circle one as i say all, all mine are either really big or really quite small um oh i've got this this i it was on a i think it was like seven pound or best offer so i offered six and they took it and it's called love notes you can kind of see the papers there i love um the doodle bug and these are valentine's well it's love but i want it for valentine's so that's that um, i think all the rest is wilkinson so if i just move back carefully not so i don't knock my coffee over and i'll bring this first bag down i mean now this this bit isn't particularly crafty so I don't know if you'll be interested in it or not but i found these harry potter stickers and i had seen them before but and i thought they were the ones oh i got a pack from poundland must be about two years ago two and a half maybe um very very small stickers and i got them to make embellishments but they are a little bit small although i can use some of them but i hadn't really got a lot else but i did find i saw these and these are, are a bit bigger and i thought yeah they would actually probably make some better size embellishments so um they were i think 199 um i wanted some larger pom-poms for a um a project recently um and i hadn't i'd only got really tiny ones so there are some like the pink the blue ones there and the pink ones there are kind of the size that i want so um i had looked online and they were quite expensive and i only wanted a few so i saw these and they were a pound so i just picked those up oh um that's just a birthday card for my son it's going to be 23 no 24 i keep thinking he's 23 he's not he's 24 i can't believe that he's going to be 24 On the 19th so i got i i'd been getting some nail files and i found that no nail brushes sorry that they're quite um that they're quite soft um and i found this one in wilkinson's not with the nail brushes but with the bath stuff and it's just got the pumice stone on it and it's got a real good sort of hard brush so i did pick up one of those i probably should have got two to be fair but i didn't then i got some soaps oh yeah i got two of the what i just said the carex love hearts because i want i want one for a friend that i'm definitely putting a little pack together for and then the other one i've got i got the carex love heart soap and that i'm going to put 
I'm going to package that up like with some pink shred and stuff um, as part of mum's Mother's Day present so they'll go together I've got loads of little bits and pieces of some of her favourite things that I'm putting together um, and I'm also going to make her a couple of resin bits so um, the soaps I got some of my, my favourite soaps they were um, I think they were a pound each or two for 180 so the Carex soap was one and then I absolutely love this one the Carex um, sherbet lemon I think that's gorgeous and then I do like this is my probably my all-time favorite soap the imperial leather botanical garden I just love the smell of this one so I I ordered I've, I've been ordering a lot of stuff from Wilkinson's actually online especially like the, all the bird food and that's from Wilkinson's and I keep buying soaps and I bought about four of these all in one go and it was at the time when they were coming without the pump dispenser because of covid they weren't come they weren't being produced for some reason so I've, I've been keeping them um you know when i finish a bottle I, I won't keep the bottle but i will keep the pump but this if you haven't tried it is absolutely gorgeous and then palm olive i like all of the palm olive soaps um and i just got this one because i always love this one with with a little nemo in it so i've got that one so that's the first bag now the whole point of me wanting to actually film this video was to show you what i actually got on on sort of a reduced off back in wilkinson's because i think it is such a good bargain and they had so much of it in my store and that is um they're selling off all of the winter plug-in air fresheners now i use these anyway i use i'm just going to get them all out and then there's a couple that are separate i'm just going to get these all out oops that's the other one that's separate right they're selling off all of the gosh that's cold all of the christmas fragrances and i got some of these or tried to get some of these and some of them were out of stock at christmas what's this oh yeah that's that one as well yeah that's everything so some of these i managed to get and some i didn't at christmas when they were full price and i'm glad that i've got them reduced so these here they're the febreze air mist and i love these the limited edition it's the christmas frosted pine that was 50p and again the limited edition for christmas air mist sugar plum delight 50p and then all of these were a pound each the only the only ones that weren't and i'd already picked these up and i'm still i still thought i'll have them is I use these in the kitchen and this is the um, limited edition crocus and bluebell I've never seen this before and this is like a spring one and it was reduced or on offer I should say from four pound to two so although it wasn't it was still reduced not not as much as these but it is still reduced so that was two pound and oh that was nice as I wafted that around this is the this is the ones I usually have the glades scented oil refills with the long see like it's got like a long top that's how i remember which one i've got because i can never remember the name of whether it's glade or whatever else there is but i know it's the one with the long top um sky and sea salt and that sounds really nice and that was reduced to i think it was two as well they were all sort of on offer because they're the new fragrances so what i've got is all of these um, the, so I say all of these were reduced to a pound and some of them are like 6 99 normally so this one I've actually got in the kitchen at the minute I've had it since before Christmas and it's still working and it's literally plugged in 24 hours a day so I got another one of those the frosted pine then I got I did manage to get one one of these um, again with see it's got the long top so I know that that's the one that I have so that's the arctic apple pie um then they had I'm trying to see what i've got um 
again with the long top it's the it's um the refill limited edition merry and bright and i could not get this one over christmas and this actually comes with the plug so i don't need the plugs particularly because i do have them although it's a different style of plug so i might i don't know if it well if they don't fit that i've got the plugs so i got merry and bright um in fact i got two of those and i got the again the the juniper and mistletoe one and i'd have got another one of these if i could have but that was the last one of those so i say all a pound and then this one this is a this is the what i call the stubbly one the small see how the thing isn't so big on the lid so i know that's the one that i that doesn't fit my plug but now i have a plug so if ever i see these on special offer i can actually buy either sort because i've got a plug that will fit it that will fit in if that makes any sense at all so that's the airwick warm amber rose so i don't know what that's going to smell like but that just smells re sounds really nice and then the last one i've got and i've never had one of these this is the sense and spray thing and it's got a, a bottle or whatever you call it in it i don't know if it's the one that goes off automatically or the one that you just press whenever you want it to do the spray but again a pound and I had, that was the last one of those but they had absolutely loads of all the others um i mean i could have bought so many more but i just sort of did limit myself to those few i was very good so i thought i would just share those because you know quite a lot of people like these like plugins and stuff and if you do have a wilkinson's by you to have a look because i mean for a pound that is an absolutely amazing price so I'm going to go now because this is like 36 minutes long and I'm just hoping it's going to upload okay. So thank you all for watching and if you're still here at the end, well done. <laughs> um, so yeah, thanks for watching and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.